Around the world, the art of tattoos is continuing to be practiced and is becoming more and more popular. In the U.S., there is a number of 21,000 shops, which consists an average of four artists applying their trade. Martin Hildebrandt, who was an immigrant from Germany, was the first tattoo artist in the USA in 1846. Hi, my name is Johnny. I work at Tatted Up Inc. and I'm a tattoo artist. I've been tattooing three years and a year and a half professionally. I like black and gray. I pretty much do anything. Yeah, I do traditional, Japanese. I'm an all-around tattoo artist. I like doing portraits, so. Hi, I'm Janae. Um, I am an apprentice at Black Wigger and Tattoo here in San Jose. Well, I've been under my apprenticeship for about four years. In the beginning, like when I first got interested, I did order a kit online. I like uh, traditional, and new school, old school. Hi, my name's Steven. I'm a tattoo artist. I work at Tattoo. Up. When I was 13, my neighbor, he was, he had a homemade tattoo gun. And yeah, I asked him, I always drew, and I asked him how to make one, and he made, taught me how to make one. And then with that, Pretty much all around. No portraits, script. I mastered the script though. I'm really good at my writing. My name is Nathan Gonzalez. I work at Marks of Art Tattoo. 17 years. I like it all and every artist just kind of has their own approach to each style, you know? I think anybody, if you want to stay interested in tattooing for more than two years, you're going to have to start liking everything to keep it going, you know what I mean? In the late 1800s, Samuel O'Reilly invented the tattoo machine. O'Reilly's tattoo machine was based off of Thomas Edison's autographic printer. It's a lot of art involved, but right now it's just a hype. Tattoo is an art, and it's beautiful. I think that as long as they're symbolic and they mean something to you, that it's a really beautiful way of expressing yourself. My thoughts in general is that uh, it's a person's body, and they have the right to do with their body as they choose. 45 million of Americans had at least one tattoo. It's a way to express yourself. I think they're personal expression. I think tattoos are a way of expressing art, like feelings and emotions on like your past history of like what you've gone through. I think tattoos, if they're done right, are super rad. People need to quit getting words written on them and start getting pictures again. You know, it's a visual communication of, it's a symbolism, it's not the definition. I love them. I have a lot. I think that your body is a canvas and you should display your thoughts and your dreams on it. It's still interesting. Kind of like you'll never have it figured out. You'll never know everything there is to know because it's always kind of... There's some basic sets, some rules, um, but it's always changing, you know? Or, or at least the artist should be changing. Uh, the freedom. Just, you know, the, the life, the money. You can express yourself through art. You know. Just the expression of art. Somebody I don't know actually has to put their trust in me because I'm actually putting something on their skin for forever. You know, and I don't even know you, so it's kind of tight knowing that people would just put their trust in me, I guess. It's tight. Nowadays, finding individuals who do not have tattoos are getting harder and harder to find. Uh, th these are my daughter's names right here. This is my sister's name. Oh. There's my mom right here. She is the most beautiful person in my life. That used to be me too also. And I used to run the streets with my friends and homeboys. I have my wrist done. It says live, love, hope, and faith. It's a pansy blossom. It was my grandmother's favorite. First tattoo. It's my favorite flower and it says clear and bright in Italian. I have Edgar Allan Poe's The Telltale Heart as a sleeve and a half chest piece. And I have Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven over here. I have a zombie senorita. I have a couple zombie horses that are battling right here. I have a zombie owl. To show how important something is in a person's life, they decide to introduce ink to their skin. But even then, every tattoo has its own meaning. It represents a lot. It, it, in other words, it, it tells a lot about a, the person. Yeah, most of them, they should, though but they don't. Um, I would think so because when you get a tattoo, like I said, it's a way to express yourself. Personally, I, I wouldn't put anything on my body that doesn't have any meaning towards me, but everybody has their own personal expression. I think personally for me, I would regret it. Some people go just because it looks cool, but for others, they want to get a tattoo for its meaning. I don't think it has to have meaning. I like artistic tattoos and how like artists are able to draw like really nice tattoos. I think it's better to have meaning because you're, it's something that you're gonna have your whole life. Uh, I think tattoos will have a meaning whether you want them to or not. I don't really have meanings for that. I just want to Definitely, just be 
looked at as a piece of art and your body as a canvas. I don't think they have to have any personal meaning. A tattoo cover-up is the process of covering up an unwanted tattoo with a new one. You know, I, I had one and I got it covered up and now I wish I would have never cut. I regret the cover-up more than the original tattoo. Because it was, it was done by the first guy I worked for, my first apprenticeship. I haven't not worn yet. Actually, yeah, I regret one, one tattoo. It's gotten me into a lot of trouble. It's just something that you, know, that you learn from. You learn from your mistakes. No, not at all. Not at this point in my life. I don't know if maybe later I'll regret them, but even then, it'll be how I felt now. It's a lesson learned. The ones that you can no longer see because they're covered up with the ones I don't regret. <laughs> just because you don't have blank skin doesn't mean that you can't continue getting tattooed. I broke up with them and now like I'm stuck with their name like forever. But then, like again, it's like you live and you learn. So it's just like I take it as a lesson learned. If you're gonna get a tattoo, make sure you know what you're gonna get. I got a lot of tattoos that I regret. If ever I wanna donate blood, then I heard that you can't have a tattoo for that. Because I'm over 40 now, I think if I would have, I would have did it maybe when I was in college. You know, I think that age is a number. Uh, that you know, Society tells you what you're supposed to behave like and you can either buy into that or you can choose to reject that. And, you know, I think that if you worry about what other people think about you all the time, then you're going to live a really limited existence. Most artists would rather work on blank skin because cover-ups are challenging to work with, especially when the original tattoo is done in black. You can always tell when you look at a cover-up. I just don't like doing them. Cover-ups are really challenging. It's not as enjoyable as starting off with just an image. I, I never liked to do them at first, but now I'm just, I'm real comfortable doing cover-ups. 36% of people who age from 18 to 25 have at least one tattoo, as well as 40% of people who age from 26 to 40. It totally varies. You could work on someone all day long, you could do 10 people in a day, so a weekly average would be very hard to to come across. Sometimes I could do a tattoo a day and sometimes I won't tattoo for like four days, five days, so it all depends. Lately it's been about three a week. Tattoos nowadays have spread to unlikely individuals such as white collar professionals like doctors, lawyers, teachers, and bankers. First time I practiced, tried a tattoo, I liked it. And I practiced on my boy's leg, and it was with a homemade machine. Your homemade tattoo machine, you know, the ones they use in jail, the ones, you know, it's just a pen cap, a guitar string with a, like a walk, uh, walkie talkie motor, I want to say. You put it together, and you can tattoo all you want with that. <laughs> my whole family on my mom's side is just covered in really bad tattoos, so I guess I was exposed to it since like birth. Studies show that people who have hepatitis C are three times more likely to have tattoos. Definitely never tattoo outside of a shop, always tattoo in the shop. You work at home, there's just too much, it's cross-contamination, you know, everything, we have all the tools here to work more comfortable. People get poked, I've been poked before wearing gloves, you know, like, definitely, that's like a major health issue too, always make sure you get checked. And, most crucial part about a tattoo is the 48 hours after healing. Reactions from tattoo ink are usually developed from the more vibrant colors, such as red, blue, orange, and yellow. Reaction to black ink is quite rare. When they're pregnant or if they have some kind of debilitating immunity disease, not necessarily HIV, but any like maybe they're going through cancer treatment. Now basically it's something that would keep them from healing properly. They have hepatitis C, a big one because that one can live in the open air for quite some time. That's actually really the only disease of concern because it can live in open air for for days. If they're really sick or if they're really drunk, um, you know, you got to think about if they are uh, infected with like hepatitis or HIV. Also, you want to make sure everything's nice and sterile. The best way as an artist is to treat everyone like they're infected with something. Every artist should use single-use needles. So all the needles are um, one-time use only, so they come pre-sterilized. And so those, after they're used, they get tossed in the sharps container. Right after a tattoo, like we, needles will go in the box, barrels will go in a jar, you know, just always got to stay on top of cleaning. As far as the tubes go, we autoclave them after every use. The tubes actually get cleaned. Uh, they run through an ultrasonic cleaner, and then they're autoclaved. 
The most common reaction a person will develop will be dermatitis, which causes inflammation, rashes, and swelling around the site. There are no recorded cases of HIV transmission through tattooing as of 2009. And that's why in the paperwork again, you have to read it before you sign it because a lot of people are allergic to inks, certain pigments. If they're having a true allergic reaction, there will be um, hives or there would be like intense um, reaction to actual the tattooing itself. But every day, twice a day if you can, as much as you can, everything should be wiped down. Wash your hands, put your gloves on, break down your station, clean your barrels. Every, every place has its own place to go. Right after a tattoo, like we're Needles will go in the box, barrels will go in a jar, you know, just always got to stay on top of cleaning.